And can you also talk about how do cloud providers' uh, pricing models affect SQL Server cost optimization strategies? Yeah, cloud providers use different pricing models and understanding them is going to be key to optimizing your SQL Server costs. So, you know, pay as you go, pricing is going to be your most expensive option. Um, only a really good option if you're not, you know, if you only need them running on occasion. But if you have workloads that are always running, then you should really look at the reserved instances or savings plans to lock in those discounts. And again, storage costs are also going to be a big factor. So some workloads might benefit from using cheaper storage tiers or compressing data to reduce the footprint. And then, you know, again, the net network egress fees will you really kind of catch you off guard if you're not anticipating that. So if you're replicating databases across regions for disaster recovery, you know, you have to factor that into your monthly expense. And again, the licensing model, Azure Hyper Benefits, bring your own licenses, they all will significantly impact the total cost of the ownership. So you need to align your workloads with the right pricing model um, to help maximize your cost efficiency.